Good morning everybody, welcome to uh, this Sunday's Thought for the Day. Uh, things are just sorting themselves out a bit about going back to church and people in church and people on Zoom and, and all this sort of thing. But it's lovely to be with you today. Um, the reading for today from the Gospel was the parable of the sower. So I'm going to read that for you. It's in Matthew 13 and verses 1 to 9 and then 18 to 23. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into the boat and sat there while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, but where they did not have much soil, and they sprang up quickly since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell uh, among thorns, and thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Let everyone with ears listen. And then from verse 18. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches it away. What is sown in the heart, this is what was sown on the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person has no root, but endures only for a while. And when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, that person immediately falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of wealth choke the world and it yields nothing. But as for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. So the thought process for today's homily began something like, oh, is the parable of the sower. What could I possibly say about that which I haven't said before? Sometimes I have in the past used and acknowledged Alice Kemp's sower sermon on the responsibility to be good soil so the kingdom can grow in us. Sometimes I talk about our responsibility to sow the seeds of the kingdom of God and let God worry about what is going to happen. Sometimes I talk about how this is an odd parable because Jesus explains it. Uh, Jesus doesn't normally explain parables at all. But what about this time? What about in this time when the world is topsy-turvy and we feel disorientated? I began with two questions in my head. Now, the figures suggest that those people with more time at home, so not the key workers rushed off their feet, but the other people with more time have been returning to gardening during the last few months. And the two questions that this sparked in my mind were, have you ever planted seeds for something and been surprised that it actually grew? That happened to my pansies this year. Um, they have actually grown. I'm waiting for them to flower still, but they're still growing strong. Um, also, have you ever not planted something which you have watched grow in your garden and wondered where it came from and wondered who planted it? A useful bird or some other creature or even the wind which has brought it to your garden? Today, when the world seems a bit upside down, I feel called to return to a classic sermon about the parable of the sower and it's about broadcasting. So in the main reception at Broadcasting House in London is Eric Gill's statue of the sower. It's a man broadcasting seed. The statue is made of English marble. It says Hopton Wood Stone for marble experts. It's eight feet and seven inches tall and it's in a niche by the doors leading to the artist's lobby and studios. A pedestal supports the statue and it bears the inscription Deus Incrementu Dat. God gives the growth, at 1 Corinthians 3 verse 7. And this is where our word for broadcasting, as in telly and stuff, comes from. From the practice of having seeds in a basket and scattering them to sow. 
Uh, we have learned a lot about broadcasting as a church locally and nationally over the past few months. We've learned about video and information about the use of social media and email prayers. We have been spreading the seeds of the kingdom of God. One of the things that has grown and has astounded me in its growth is the response to these Facebook videos. Um, so on Friday afternoon, I did, I'm sorry, it was a daylight, uh, what some people call a little people story uh, with my Playmobil people of the video, which should have been the story of Tabitha for collective worship. Um, it has had, according to Facebook, 208 views as of eight o'clock this morning. And my midweek thought for the day which I normally preach on a Wednesday and a Thursday in box and then in Cullen. Um, this week, doing it on the video, it has had 42 views. And I've also had people contact me who so appreciated the Lent and Easter email reflections, John Ayres worship at home, and we have a steady group of people attending Zoom Compline services, which is a really odd combination of very ancient monastic prayers and new technology. These things are reaching people who are not normally worshipping within our church buildings. It is like we have increased the strength of our arm. We have been able to throw the seeds of the kingdom wider. We have not only been broadcasting the seeds of the kingdom of God, we have in fact been broader casting than we were before. Should we be anxious about where this will all end? What, what does it say on that statue at the BBC? Deus incrementa dat. God gives the increase, the growth. Um, 1 Corinthians 3 verse 7. This is what Jesus was saying. He was saying that when we sow, some will grow and thrive. Some will grow and fail. Some will not grow at all. We sow. Our responsibility is to sow. Our responsibility is to broadcast the seeds of the kingdom of God and it is God who will see to the rest, to the growth. Thank you for uh, watching and listening today. I hope you have a really good week and I'll see you again soon. Bye.